All right, let's say you finish painting your car and it's time to get the logos to the other side of the car. Now, what we're all familiar with doing is duplicating the logo, rotating it, uh, placing it manually. But what I've done is I have created a script to automate that process. Uh, so you can download those scripts in the description. There's one for the sides of the car and there's one for the front of the car in this area. And uh, once you have those downloaded, you go to File, Scripts, Browse, uh, and then double click on the script, and then it will automatically place the logos for you. Now, there's a couple of criteria for this to work. Let me explain. First of all, all of the decals that you want to run the script on have to be a smart object. I already use smart objects anyway for all my decals. If you don't know what a smart object is, then uh, go ahead and look it up. It's a really useful thing. I think you'll like it. Uh, but pretty much what we want to do is we want to, I'm just going to bring up an example here. Let's paste our logo. Uh, we do whatever we want to the logo and then we turn it into a smart object and then we transform it and then put it on the car wherever we want. What we don't want to do is this where we uh, transform it first and then put it on the car wherever and then turn it into a smart object because then all of the transformation uh, information hasn't been retained. So again, the correct way to do it for the script to work is to convert it to a smart object and then uh, put it wherever on the car. And then the third criteria is that all of the decals that you want to run the script on have to be in one single layer group. Pretty simple. And you can see all the logos I have in that layer group. And when I run the script, I can also run it through the, auto, the actions window. If you go to window actions, I think you can figure out how to set that up. And the way I've set it up, just go bang and everything is mirrored to the other side. And let me show you an example uh, for the front of the car as well. There, let's get a logo right there on the car. And um, let's put that into a group like we're supposed to. And we have the group selected. Uh, it won't work if the group isn't selected. Let me show you what happens if the group isn't selected, actually. Scripts, uh, browse, uh, front, you just get an error. Uh, what you want to do is have the group selected, uh, find the script, and there we go. It's mirrored across the front of the car. Very useful for contingency sponsors, uh, tiny logos, and uh, things like that. Now, I wrote this for the FCRD uh, Next Gen mod but it's uh, pretty easy to get it to work for any other mod. So this is the uh, Manx 19 Gen 6 mod. And um, if you open the script, let's open the script actually. I'm gonna create a copy and I'm just gonna open it with Notepad because I think all of you have Notepad. And the uh, variable that you want to touch, let's edit the sides uh, script first. The variable, variable you want to touch is this mirror axis, which is the mirror, which is the axis which the logos will be mirrored across. So, so for the side logos, they are kind of mirrored across uh, this axis. And so let's uh, calculate how many, or not calculate, but just measure uh, how many pixels there are. And so I just take a rectangle and I just like eyeball it. So I've snapped it to the top and is it, yeah, it was snapped to the bottom. So. 771 pixels, let's try that. So it's 771 pixels and the total size of the canvas is 2048. And so what did I say? I don't even, did I say 771? I think I did. 771 over 2048, that's our ratio. And so it's a ratio like this, just so that if you have like a, a 4096 template or just any other resolution, then it'll still uh, be the proper axis. And so let's uh, let's see if that worked. So let's paste in a uh, logo, it's just smart object, bang, bang. Um, and let's see if I got that number right. So put it in a group, have the group selected and file scripts, browse. Uh, this is the one we just edited. And yeah, there we go, it works. Uh, it's not lined up with the number. I think the number is actually off there. <laughs> yeah, okay, the number actually is off. 
which this which is uh this is a number that I placed manually. So that goes to show you this script is nice for getting things exactly where they should be. We can do the same to the front. So let's find the mirror axis for the front. It's like somewhere around there. And um, take our shape tool and measure out of, uh, 918. So oops, I meant to open with notepad 918 over 2048. And yep, let's just, my layers are a mess at this point, but if we run the script, there we go. It's mirrored across the front and we got the number right. So that's how you um, get it to work for any other uh, mod template you might have. So have fun with this script, uh, happy painting, and I hope that makes your life a little bit easier.